Welcome to Brain Booster. Have you ever wondered about the history of the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon, a national icon and natural wonder, is a sight to behold. Its jaw-dropping immensity attracts millions of awe-inspired visitors each year, making it the second most visited national park in the United States. Its vibrant ombre of reds, browns, pinks, purples, and more, carved by the persistent Colorado River, is indeed a spectacle. But how did it come to be? Let's delve into the deep history of the Grand Canyon. Our story begins nearly two billion years ago, when the Earth was young and still finding her form. Imagine, if you will, a time when the crust of our planet was shifting and moving, colliding and splitting apart. In one such monumental event, two massive plates of Earth's crust came together in an epic collision. This meeting of titans resulted in the formation of rows upon rows of volcanic islands, each one merging and smashing together in a fiery display of nature's raw power. As these islands collided, a transformation took place under the extreme heat and pressure. The rocks of these islands metamorphosed into what we now know as the basement rocks of the Grand Canyon. Among them are some of the oldest rocks known to us, the Elves' Chasm Nice, dating back to a staggering 1.84 billion years ago. Yet, our understanding of the Grand Canyon's early beginnings is not complete. There is a missing chapter in this narrative. Between roughly 1.75 billion and 1.25 billion years ago, a significant portion of the Grand Canyon's geological history is absent. Erosion, acting like an overzealous editor, wiped these periods clean, leaving us with a gap in our knowledge. The narrative picks up again between 1.25 billion and 730 million years ago. This period saw the formation of new layers of rock known as the Grand Canyon Supergroup. In the depths of prehistoric seas, sediments settled and hardened, forming layers that included a 1.25 billion-year-old limestone studded with the fossils of algae, the earliest life recorded in the canyon. The story of the Grand Canyon is not just the story of rocks and rivers, it's a story of time and erosion, a testament to the enduring power of nature to shape and mold our world. As we continue to delve into its past, we uncover more about our planet's history and in turn our own place within it. The story of the Grand Canyon is a story of time and erosion. Fast forward to between 1.25 billion and 730 million years ago, the Grand Canyon was undergoing a significant transformation. This period marks the formation of an important geological feature known as the Grand Canyon Supergroup. These layers of rock were not just formed overnight but over a span of half a billion years, a testament to the slow and steady rhythm of nature's processes. Picture prehistoric seas, vast and teeming with life, covering the area we now know as the Grand Canyon. As time passed, sediments from these seas began to settle, hardening over millions of years to form layers of rock. As the seas receded and returned, new layers formed, creating a geological sandwich, with each layer representing a different era in the Earth's history. One of these layers, a 1, 25-billion-year-old limestone, is of particular interest. Studded with the fossils of algae, it represents the earliest recorded life in the canyon. These tiny organisms, though unassuming, were the pioneers of life on Earth, their existence marking the dawn of complex life as we know it. However, the formation of the Grand Canyon Supergroup was not a smooth process. Powerful geological forces were at play, breaking these layers into chunks and tilting them at an angle. Imagine the immense pressures and forces required to break and tilt layers of rock that had taken millions of years to form. It's a stark reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. This period of disruption was followed by another round of sedimentation. Another sea formed, blanketing the tilted layers of the Grand Canyon supergroup. The sediments from this sea began settling at the bottom, forming new layers of rock. But it's the formation of the mighty Colorado River that creates the Grand Canyon we know today. About six million years ago, waters rushing off the Rockies formed this river. As the plateau rose, the river cut into it, carving out the canyon over time. This relentless carving by the Colorado River, coupled with the forces of erosion and weathering, gave us the awe-inspiring Grand Canyon, a testament to nature's power and patience. By around six million years ago, the stage was set for the carving of the Grand Canyon. The mighty Colorado River, formed by waters rushing off the Rockies, was the master sculptor in this grand project. As the plateau rose, the river cut into it, carving out the canyon over time. This was no overnight task but a painstaking process that took millions of years. But the Colorado River was not working alone. 
smaller rivers joined in, cutting the side canyons, mesas, and buttes that we see today. It was a collective effort, a symphony of natural forces working in harmony to create a masterpiece. This masterpiece was not hidden from human eyes for long. Over 10,000 years ago, humans had their first encounters with the canyon. These were the earliest Americans, spreading across the continent, exploring new territories, and stumbling upon natural wonders. Imagine their awe as they stood at the edge of this vast canyon, looking down at the river that had carved it and the layers of rock it had exposed. Reds, browns, pinks, purples, a rainbow of earth tones that told a story, a story of the earth's past. The Grand Canyon was more than just a sight to behold, it was a history book, a geological timeline that could be read in the rocks. From the dark-colored basement rocks at the bottom, some of which are nearly two billion years old, to the upper rock layers that settled into place over a hundred million years ago, each layer added a new chapter to the story. And so the Grand Canyon became a place of study and fascination, attracting explorers, scientists, and tourists from all over the world. Today it hosts 6 million visitors a year, making it the second most visited U.S. national park. Today the Grand Canyon stands as a testament to the power of nature and the passage of time. It reminds us of the Earth's long history, of the forces that have shaped it, and of our place in this grand scheme. It is a symbol of natural beauty, a national icon, and a global treasure. So, the next time you stand at the edge of the Grand Canyon, think about its journey. From the earliest human encounters about 12,000 years ago, to the Spanish explorers in the 16th century, and the historic boating expedition by John Wesley Powell. Marvel at its geological marvel, a spectacle of the Colorado River's handiwork over nearly two billion years. Think about the layers of rock revealing Earth's history in shades of reds, browns, pinks, purples, and more. Remember, you're looking at nearly two billion years of Earth's history carved into the landscape before your eyes. Don't forget to like and subscribe.